Goshen, Ohio, here in Claremont County, Ohio, just a few days ago, Goshen here, we got hit by an F2 tornado and confirmed by National Service radar. Uh, they're estimating the winds at 130. I'm going to, I've seen some damage here. I'm going to slightly disagree with them and say it was the start of an F3, the start. Now, let's take Goshen Tornado here in Goshen, Ohio. Let's versus, let's, let's say this, I'm going to title this video, Goshen Tornado versus April 3rd, 19, uh, Goshen Tornado 2022, that's fair enough, Goshen Tornado 2022 versus, versus, April 3rd, 1974, April 3rd, 1974, I was around, I seen it, I was 11 years old, I seen it, I saw it, I seen what an F5 can do. So everybody here in Goshen is calling us being, we was hit, we was hit by a tornado, everybody's saying, we was hit by a tornado. No, we wouldn't. We was sucker punched by a tornado. Oh, there's some areas it's major damage. But see, the, the trouble here is the majority of you people wouldn't even born yet on April 3rd, 74. I was. I was living. I was 11 years old. And I can still remember that very evening. April 3rd, 1974. I remember that evening. Loveland got the skies of Loveland when you looked toward Loveland the trees sky It was so black That the tree barks the trees the bark on the trees had a white tint It was so black Loveland So when they when they call it the super tornado outbreak there's a reason why they do that it was so black that the trees the bark on the trees had a white tint now my dad was a grown man then I was 11 in 1974 my dad was uh, uh, 34 years old my dad had huge hand my dad was a big guy he didn't want to mess with my dad even his size doesn't matter how big you are, it still brought him to tears. I mean, he didn't pout like a kid, but you could, I could see the tears slowly come down his cheek. Because we was both looking at Loveland. Just black, black, black. And when it was lightning, it would boil. i never forget what my dad said on that evening. And don't worry, I will abbreviate. Loveland is effing gone and that's a quote for I can still hear my dad saying that that's a quote from my dad he had a look it was so black that you knew there was tornadic activity in that you knew there was tornado it, it scared the life out of you you knew there was tornadic activity but I never forget that lightning just boil Man, when he, it, it looked like he was electrocuting it. <laughs> it looked like it was electrocuting its own self. <laughs> it ain't funny. But when, when I look back, when I think back 48 years, when I remember looking at the skies, I was 11 years old, and I remember it like it was just... I can never forget it. It's been 48 years when I seen that. 48 years ago, I seen Love One. It was just blacker than jet black. It was just tornadic activity. And my mom come out of the house, and Dad says, we got to get the hell out of here. When my dad gets nervous, he, you know, he cusses easily, easily. We got to get the hell out of here. You know, we, had, we, we lived in the house, but we had no basement. And... Fast, fast forward 48 years to today, 
Today's July the 12th, 2022. A few days ago, the Goshen tornado happened, and we got some areas of destruction. But if you think this is bad, people, everybody's saying we got hit. No, we got sucker punched here a few days ago. If you call in this hit, that shows you how no experience you got. I've seen F5 destruction. I remember Xenia. Le this levels it. F5 hit Goshen? There'd be nothing left of you. McDonald's would be gone. Skyline Chili would be gone. UDF would be gone. There'd be no Goshen Police Department. Hit would be gone. All their police cruisers would be demolished. Far Department. Even the heavy fire truck would be found miles away, demolished, standing on the building, sitting on the building. There'd be nothing left of you, Goshen. And you're calling a few days ago, but yeah, it was bad, but you're, you're making it sound like a total disaster. We only got sucker punched. Goshen just got sucker punched. If an F5 hits Goshen, Ohio, be none of you left. 